A while back, I was made aware of this discussion thread where a brand claimed that another brand stole one of their bags designs. And I only reviewed one of those bags and only had the website's pictures of the other bag to compare both of them. And truth to be told, I saw some similarities but not a one-to-one -one copy to actually warrant all of that outrage. So this sparked the question, when is something a blatant copy or just inspired by? Or just like in the watch world, maybe it's an homage? So I ask a couple of reviewers that I know to join the video call to talk a little bit about this topic. What do you consider a copy? When do you think something is actually a blatant copy or you could call inspired by or maybe like in some cases with watches for instance they sometimes call it a homage to something like there are so many rolex homage watches which are kind of respected and sometimes they're not so what are your thoughts about when something is a copy or when do you or at what point do you would you say that's an all right copy or it's just inspired by i think it's so subjective um honestly i think it's like a case-by-case -case basis mm -hmm. right so if you look at amazon and the peak design bag you know you look at that and you say mm -hmm. the design is pretty damn close that's i would call that yeah. a copy the cmf where it's actually like the materials um is quite different mm -hmm. um but i would still call it a copy because the design is so dang close and there are small differences there are small detailed differences but um yeah i think it really just it really depends on a case by case i mean you look at topo and uh was that 1773 right i would call that a copy mm -hmm. um yeah i don't know if there was other examples i could definitely let you Speak know the thought but um, speaking of peak design uh i've just uh -oh. recently stumbled upon i mean they have so many similar things but um i feel like they are kind of highly regarded in some areas of the community that i'm kind of feel like they have so many products that are similar to peak design yet they haven't as far as i know haven't been called out by anyone so that kind of made me wonder i mean i think for me anyway when i look at bags like i saw one in person recently and um it's almost like uh the, the one at least i saw it was like a mix between a like a peak design and an apex like they were almost mm. in, some parts of it were exactly like an apex like you could tell that for sure the designer had one in front of him or at least had used one very closely because it was I like identical. Um obviously mm. the materials, uh, like Steven said, were were different and they, they feel different, you know, in your hand. But uh I think for me it, it's it's also super subjective, but it's a bit of that like you know it when you see it kind of thing, mm. but I don't can't really define it, like what a copy is. Um, I guess it's an old adage about pornography right like i don't i can't define it but i know it when i see it and i think like i've seen other bags that are like you know have similar layouts to say like a, a go rock or something like that but when i when i look at it i'm pretty sure it's it's not a, a like a it doesn't feel like a copy to me but then i've seen other ones that, that are obviously like like you can tell that the designer sat down with the go rock in front of them and, and thought like okay this is how i'm going to um i'm going to make it look similar mm. sort of deal there's also, I mean, the idea in like law, right? It's intention. What's the intention, right? So mm -hmm. uh, if a designer sits down and they say, you know, someone at Amazon is like, oh, Peak Designs bag, this one kills it. We're going to copy it because we want to make the money. Because we can offer it a lower price point, lower quality, mm -hmm. people will buy it. And then if there's a design team, say it's, whatever i've never heard of them i just found a peak design they sit down and they say my intent is to create something new and it happens to look like something else right because if i look at nomadic i say wow those look a lot like they're inspired by peak design peak design kind of set this new stage of this kind of like style 
and you have someone like nomadic that comes along and is like building on top of that or like mm. it's a separate product but it's it's going a- along the same lines i don't see that as you know copying and even this one that you just brought up yeah I, when i look at that i don't think that's a copy at all it, that looks like a mix of like wandered peak design nomadic mm. to me that's, i mean i say oh i know exactly where they got their inspiration from exactly right so it's it's i think it's really hard for us to really know when something is a copy or inspired by or a homage so matt hi first and foremost thanks for joining us and yeah we could guys we're currently talking about when is something a copy when is something inspired by and yeah um currently we uh are thinking that it's a very subjective thing and obviously i think what you said steven is really a good good point that it really comes down to the intent of the other creator or of the other brand if you could consider something a copy or inspired by what i'm really interested is where does this put us as reviewers and as content creators is this something you would say we we as creators as reviewers should take into consideration or should we just review products the way they are even if they might be a copy because sometimes we don't know right sometimes we get a product or we have a product in hand and we can't know every single product that it could be a copy from so do you think that is something we need to keep in mind do we need to respect think- brands and or do we just review it because our viewers might want to know about that product i think review it because your reviewers might want to know about the product absolutely i also think it's really important to know the designer right to to know Mm -hmm. the developer and say well what was your intent right so i could in not good faith review that amazon bag there's no way in hell i'd do it not yeah but that's a pretty that's pretty easy to know that that's a copy right but sometimes we get upon small brands right and they send us a bag for instance and we maybe they wouldn't even know that that's a copy so that's why I'm, what i found so interesting with with certain certain topics like for instance this back you wouldn't have known that that there are some similarities maybe if you wouldn't know peak design for instance right um so how do you guys deal with that or what do you think would be appropriate with this kind of topic i think if sent me a bag and i was reviewing it i would say "Mm, this is not original i've Mm -hmm. seen this before but it's different and it's new and i believe that they took these features from here here and here and Mm -hmm. whether i liked the way that they put it together or not like that's what my review would be about is about the bag but i would be i would openly be talking about like what I thought their intent was, what I thought that their design inspiration, what I thought their material goals were. Like, I would just talk about those things. Mm. That's that's how I would approach it. I, I kind of agree on, on that side too. Like, if if I got a bag and I noticed that there are some similarities to something else, um, I would, you know, I would call that out in my review because you know, as somebody who's looking at bags and stuff like that, I would be like, if I'm searching for a new bag, I'm, I'm looking at written reviews, video reviews, like basically everything I can find on it before I buy it. And so if I got it and I'd seen like a reviewer that I trusted, you know, reviewing a bag and they didn't mention that this was so similar to X bag and I already had that bag, I'd kind of be disappointed. You know, it's like, Mm -hmm. And I think that's where it shows you, shows the people that we're not just like reviewing products and saying only good things about it. Like, I always think that there's good to say what negatives, because, you know, there's, there's the reviewers who you can tell that like so-and-so got paid to get this bag into their hands so that they could review it so that this company Mm -hmm. could have a successful launch. And it's, they're really excited about that bag for 24 hours. And then the next day, like, their next review comes out and they're really excited about that bag for 24 hours. And it's like, you know, like, like I get it. It's their brand and that's what they like make their money on. But like, you know, there's certain reviewers out there that I only 
watch their video just to see how the bag is used but i don't give a shit about what they say because they just always say good things you know so i see mm -hmm. you know if, if i got a bag um like steven said i would look at it maybe see like what similarities there are and sometimes you have to have a bag in your hands to actually like see it you know and like mm -hmm. see how it works and feels because even the amazon bag you know that's copying the peak design stuff it's like if you had that in your hands versus a peak like how well does it zip how well does it unzip how well does it carry mm -hmm. while it's loaded how well is like you know the fabric w abrasion you know if you rub on it and stuff like that like that's kind of what i would look at and it's like well obviously the peak design bag is way better than this one because they and that's how they can sell it for so much because sure. they built it with less quality you know so for me that's how if if that came into my hands or something like that came into my hands and i was requested to review that i would kind of call out hey you know to me this is very similar to what wandered's doing with xyz to me this is very similar yeah. kind of what Stephen was saying just because you know if you like those brands then you might also like this you know like wandered doesn't have a you know thing like this so maybe i'll use that because i like them but they don't have this mm. product so i'll try this out you know and um well, you know, for a lot of us we design. see a lot of bags in product design it's so like when you're when you're looking at a product brief and you bring in a bunch of inspiration right maybe the designer says wow this side pocket is awesome let's see if we can make it better oh we can't oh like wander actually nailed this okay but we actually don't like the laptop carry we want a full zip like a back panel mm -hmm. that opens up so they're what they're doing is they're taking features that work that people love yeah. but they want different orientations for different feature sets for different use cases. Mm. I don't see a problem with this. It's not a me neither, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. but it's it's that brings me back to the to the initial question. At what point? I mean, as you said, it's such a subjective um, viewpoint. At what stage a product is actually a copy or inspired by and. JT, you, I think you uh, sent me the link to the thread where one brand was uh, saying that this other brand, which both brands, I think, make pretty cool products, said like this is a blatant copy. And I was just comparing one bag to another just based on the website and product pages because I didn't have both in my hands, just one of the bags. And I honestly didn't see a one to one copy. So that initially sparked the the question in my head so, okay i see that so many people are really angry about this but i don't see that many similarities to warrant this outrage in a way so that's why i was really interested to see what you guys think when something starts but i think steven you made up brought up a very good point that it's it's somewhat the intention of the other brand, why they have this inspiration or maybe this copying and um, how good the product is. And yeah, it being so subjective in a way, which makes it for me, at least as a review, really hard um, when we are actually supposed to mention something like this. Or Well, I, yeah. I have an interesting point to bring up, right? So if you look at peak design, you're like Amazon ripping off peak mm. and you say, fuck you, Amazon, you piece of shit. Right. <laughs> Excuse my language. And then you look at Topo design ripping off 1773 and you say, fuck you, Topo, you piece of shit. But then you look at baboon completely ripping off the North face base camp and you say, sick, nice work baboon. Why is that? Right. It's because you've got this monster Amazon, attacking peak design like taking their sales you have this monster topo taking this small maker 1773 taking his design and sales mm -hmm. but then as soon as it goes the other way you've got the under the dog that just changes oh, the cmf and they change it and it's more of like this art piece it's more of like this this but it's kind of like a big middle finger to the north face what do we say so, dang that's dope it's an interesting thing to consider mm -hmm. when you're looking at rip off. So if you have a startup brand who rips off Wandered, you say, mm, Wandered's a small business, like get out of here. Mm. Right. Just some, just some point. thought. I don't mm -hmm. know, I'd love to hear what you guys think about that. 
I mean, I think that for me personally, that's something that um, it would, I think it would definitely affect the way uh, of my, at least like the audience, the audience perception of it would be affected by that for sure, I think, right? Because it's, it's impossible to kind of, I mean, it's still subjective in a way, but it's impossible to sort of weed those things out. I, I think that people think about these things like such a short time of their day. So it's, it's easy to just have like a quick opinion um, either way based on like the big bad company versus the the little maker. So I, I think like for us as reviewers, it, it's difficult to to differentiate, you know, you know, those things. Um, it's it, I think like going back to the beginning of this whole thing, I, I definitely think the idea of intention is super important because like mm -hmm. um, I, I worked in, in copyright law and patent law for a, a little while when I was in law school and uh, graduating from law school. And it was it's interesting to me because at that point, we, when when I bring it into this sort of thing that that we're talking about now, um, the, the little guys it's changed a lot when with social media and stuff because i think a long time ago um the, these type of things that wouldn't come up very often especially with a small maker um you know you wouldn't see it as as often so so we're we're actually showing showing the world you know these copies in a lot of ways a, a little bit um but I, I think for for me the intent like like you said and sorry if i'm going off on a tangent here but i you know it's 4 a.m so i'm struggling a little bit that's uh, all right yeah, no, the the intent's a big deal because like I, I was playing with this bag recently. It's uh it's made by a super small maker in the Czech Republic, and his bag's very similar to like the the Go Ruck Bullet. So I had a, a an email where somebody asked me like like don't you think it looks very similar to the Go Ruck Bullet? But you you don't really mention that you know in 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 the review. And I thought like well I mean I mentioned that it was similar, but the intent is definitely very different. And I like the idea of like um um also I think maybe Steven said like we're the the features that you know like we're all like bag nerds we we get a bag we we really enjoy it but then you want to tweak this feature you want to change this feature mm. you want to do that and it's basically that right it's like taking a, yeah. a bag that other people like and it's it's improving on it or improving changing the things that say like the original is not willing to change or hasn't changed in years so i i kind of i'm okay with that honestly that that mm. that side of it when when you take the model as inspiration and then you kind of make it your own i think it changes a little bit even like um artistically as a photographer too i felt like you know you you see that a lot where you take someone's style and then you have something slightly similar and then you kind of make it your own i think that's that's sort of okay whereas a one-to-one -one, i mean one-to-one -one copy is pretty easy to 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 see i mean i think sometimes when we when we see a bag that's very similar to you know, a product that a bag that we've used before and we really like or a brand that we really like, there could be some natural biases that make me feel like it it's yeah, like oh it's ripping off this other product or something. Um but sometimes it's yeah, it's hard for me to tell whether I'm just being biased or if there really is some yeah, if it's really difficult to distinguish between the bags. Um so I don't I really don't know if I have a clear answer sometimes sometimes it's just yeah when you see two bags that are you know clearly very very similar but like almost to the point where they're indistinguishable um then yeah I guess I'll call it a copycat or mm. you know just a, a rip off but I think a lot of times you can also see just based on the the companies that that develop them right or that that are selling them um there was that time where I think Amazon was selling yeah. a bag that was very similar to Peak Designs bag. In yeah, we were I mean, about that. Yeah. yeah, when you think about like that situation, uh, you know, a global conglomerate like Amazon, I don't know how often they're actually trying to develop original designs for bags. Um, they're usually just trying to take existing designs and just make them cheaper, more affordable mm -hmm. for people. Um, so I think in that case, it's, it was pretty clear that. You know, they yeah. are taking the same design. Imagine you buy a bag and you review it and you think it's it's a cool bag and then you find out that it's actually a copy of someone else. Is that something that would like taint your impression or your opinion of that bag once you would know that it's more or less just a, a copy? I don't think it would taint my opinion of it until I tried the 
original if that mm -hmm. makes sense so i think like i would it would probably spur me to to figure out how to get the original to to figure out you know if it really is super close if it is what because like going on a comment on on youtube it's very hard to tell like i, I know when i buy a bag personally like i've done so much research beforehand so just going on one single comment that it's a copy i would definitely have to find out myself for myself mm -hmm. like how close it is now if i got the if i got the original and the one that i had previously reviewed was um okay so having them both in front of me it definitely feels like it, it was a copy i think in most cases if if it was a copy then my opinion would be that the the, the original was was better you know in that case because i think like you know having both of them in front of you you would probably feel that and i would probably make a video to to say that okay so here's the new one compare them and, and show that i i think that the original is actually in fact better than than the copy so it's it's really weird for me how these how these perceptions start and i don't i don't Definitely. really know it i think it's very subjective like steven had mentioned earlier and um so as reviewers, I don't really know what we do because in my case, so, so what mm -hmm. do I do that? Do I, do I get the the copy just to to talk about it? Do I like it's really it, difficult. Yeah. It's it's a it's a, it's a difficult one. In my case, I would definitely just go with with my own opinion. I don't think I would get the copy. I, would, I don't mm. or or if I would, I, I, I would be honest about it. I'm sure it's probably not as good as the original or, what, or whatever, but it's very hard to know. When is something a copy or just inspired by? As you can tell from this discussion, this is a very difficult or rather a subjective question to answer. So I pass along the question to you. When is something a blatant copy, inspired by or just like in the watch world, a homage? And how do you think reviewers should approach these potential copies? Should we review them or should we avoid them to not give them any further exposure? Furthermore, keep in mind that this bag industry is big and small at the same time. So I personally wouldn't know all of the brands to actually identify any copies that efficiently. So if it came to light that something is a blatant copy, do you think I should take down the review? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward to read all of your thoughts about copies inspired by or homages. Furthermore, if you want to see the unedited full-length one-hour video call talk check out my patreon okay so i'm really looking forward to read your thoughts and yeah if you have any other questions also comment below and if you enjoyed this video click the like button and please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss next videos also check out my instagram at you know the boat stay safe and healthy everyone and thank you very much